This video is sponsored by Loot Crate. Use the coupon code EVILVIKING13 to get 10% off of your order and help support the channel. Hey folks, Dave here, known on YouTube as EvilViking13 and known to my men as General Dave. And I am back with a new Fallout settlement tour, and I'm dragging Joel along once again. Welcome back, Joel. Oh, thanks. That was better than driving over, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> well, you don't have a choice. It's time uh, for more Fallout. <laughs> don't have a choice. I'm glad I was clothed. As you guys can see, it is winter time, also in Fallout. We got our first snowfall here, and I figured, hey, for maximum immersion, it's time for it to snow in Fallout. And this settlement tour is going to be a long planned build. It's my Minutemen boot camp. Ooh. And I'm wearing my officer's cap here, which as you can see has the Minutemen logo on it. It's uh, <laughs> General Dave in his commanding <laughs> officer form. <laughs> now, the snow is a mod, right? The snow is a mod, yeah. Yeah, it's a seasonal mod. You can do like autumn or spring. That's awesome. It's really cool. Ooh. So, this is another piece of the puzzle for my Minutemen Empire. This is the settlement that trains all of the troops that you've seen, uh, guarding my settlements and subjugating my settlements and bringing them all into the fold. So we're going to come up here to the staff entrance, which, uh, of course, General Dave does have the key for. And you're going to see that there's quite a lot of defenses and walls to protect the settlement and spotlights and cameras <laughs> and low FPS <laughs> and this settlement is actually built at the uh, Sunshine Tidings co-op I'm not sure if you even remember where that is well, let's go ahead and open up the staff door here not at gunpoint there it is and usually we have a guard posted here but as General Dave was expected, he is off duty. Let's lock that door back. It's actually a, uh, a boxcar with a sliding door, and we're going to take our steps down into the boot camp. Mm. Again, this is where my soldiers train. <laughs> and at the center, you know, we have the castle, our headquarters. Yeah. We have constructed the keep to help look over the boot camp as my frame rate struggles. <laughs> <coughs> this is a new construction, but as you can see from all the scaffolding and supports, um, it's new concrete, but we're not engineers. It's the apocalypse, and we're having a hard time keeping things together, and so uh, it's a little rickety looking. But we'll explore the keep here in a minute. First, let's go over to the initial parade ground. This is the uh, more or less public entrance to the Minutemen boot camp. It doesn't actually look much like a boot camp at all. That's because this is the part that's meant to impress new recruits. Get them to sign up and join the Minutemen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go past our door yes. guard slash greeter here. I'll open up the gates. Dude, the snow mod. That's a lot of fun. I like that. Especially with this time of day, just the kind of fog going on. It pleases me. <laughs> the name of the Minuteman boot camp is Camp McGann. It's actually named for the previous general whose clothes I am awkwardly wearing. <laughs> the previous general? The previous general. Remember you found his clothes in the oh, tunnels you know, of the I castle? I was like, did you make more lore? <laughs> no, I used official lore hmm. to make my, my lore more official. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we have uh, named the boot camp after General McCann to honor his sacrifice. I guess it's McCann. It's a G in there, but McCann, yeah. So this is the uh, the view that new recruits, uh, fresh-faced and excited to join the heroes of the Minutemen would see as they arrive. But <laughs> we're not interested in any of those filthy gunners. As you can see, someone's been uh, racking up some kills. And that's actually because 
This location has a gunner camp over there on the expressway nearby, and we have to keep clearing it out uh, successfully, and I'll show you why a little bit later. <laughs> so let's take the path of a new recruit. Come on inside here. Close those gates yeah. up. Talk to our first guard, who can get you uh, all set up for a speech, either for me, the general, if I'm on location. <laughs> Or perhaps a speech by one of the uh, the camp's officers if I'm not here. Now this is where we've gone all out with the decorations. You gotta have that imposing feel. You mean um, the two cannons opposing, opposing? Yeah, you know, welcome to the Minutemen. Sign up now. <laughs> <laughs> On either side of the gate, yeah. we've got some uh, some guard posts here. It was a bit hard to fit these in um, in this tight and <laughs> enclosed space here, so I use a spiral staircase. And we got a guard that can uh, a quick little hop. Look huh? over the front gate and see everybody coming, as well as the uh, the gunner post in the distance. We get a look here at all there is to see. We'll be heading that way soon. But again, outside of the guard posts, huh? on each side of the gate, I'm a fresh-faced recruit. What does it say? Join or die? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, oh, oh yeah. Just a little subtle hint. Just real, <laughs> real subtle. So, I've got my welcome speech from either, you know, General Dave, who you see there, just in case yeah. you've forgotten, <laughs> General Dave, or one of the camp officers. Um, oh, I, whoever piled the lumber there is going to get whipped, <laughs> covered up the L. Well, you noticed the lumber already, that's actually a feature I've added to the settlement, is huh. when I was building it, because I knew I was going to use the wintertime mod, I decided to think a little bit further and say, okay... How would we actually heat all of these structures in the dead of winter in the apocalypse? So you're going to see like wood stoves or fireplaces or well generators well to done. fuel each building. Because <laughs> uh, it, it looks a little bit chilly out here. And I'm surprised you haven't noticed it yet, Joel. What did I say almost a year ago now back in Red Rocket when I first added like a stove on the inside and we were like... Chimneys? I was like, oh man, I wish they had a Ooh, chimney. Smoke out over there. I was like, I wish they had a chimney that actually had smoke. Well, guess what I found a mod for? <laughs> chimney smoke. <laughs> so yeah, I actually thought through for this settlement about how it would actually be uh, heated during the dead of winter. I also have little bits of snow drifts and stuff to help add to the immersion on top of all oh, my wooden planks cool. and stuff. Yeah, if you look, you know, someone hasn't done a great job shoveling. <laughs> They're going to get lashings. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm a fresh-faced recruit. Again, I'm going to head over to the uh, recruitment offices with unnecessary pillars around the door. <laughs> the classic Minuteman lantern. You wait outside in the cold for your turn. For security purposes, just, you know, two recruits at a time to sign up. No tricks from the gunners or from Joel's men. <laughs> and we fixed up this, uh, this old cabin at Sunshine Tidings Co-op. As a recruitment office. Oh, I like this. And this is actually my first officer for Hi, the camp. How are you? She's in charge when I'm not here. She's got her dress blues on. And uh, got some note taking material. Get those background checks going for those new recruits. Extra background checks if you're actually joining the militia. Mm. And not just you're going to live at one of the settlements. <laughs> George Washington showing you the the way of the light <laughs> this way my children Isn't he, he's also pointing down too is that a sword what is that in his hand yeah it's, yeah, a, it's sword. a sword yeah huh. come forth my that. children come, come forth, forth. <laughs> as he's like stab <laughs> what else do we have in here um got some yeah. rickety old bookshelves from back before when this was the uh the co-op and the old wood stove with the pipes out the window for the smoke. And a little uh, symbol of the Minutemen's power. Dead Death Claw. And <laughs> sign up today, Joel, for the Minutemen and get an enlistment bonus. <laughs> we got the money safe here so you can get your bonus. <laughs> and some fresh coffee, too. Uh, quite the treat in the apocalypse. And then uh, a second desk back here to enter their records and start the background check for all of the uh, couriers and network systems for those Minutemen like, background checks. I'm showing you, this is what you're going to be wearing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This could be your Minutemen army uniform. <laughs> I love all like the 
garbage there because I was like, can you just sweep that out? Like, one quick sweep. Joel. And you can clean it. <laughs> it's, it's the apocalypse. There could be useful bits of things in there. <laughs> and actually, we'll, there. we'll get back around to the scrap a little bit later. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So let's head out of our recruitment offices. Slam the door oh. right in our face. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? To the right, or to the left, or to the center? Uh, I want to see the keep. You want to see the keep? Yeah, I do. You got a shotgun turret there that's under repairs. It's powered down, as you can see. I just realized it's like huge girders. <laughs> it's actually like a bar with a banner hanging <laughs> off of it. But, uh, you know, I wanted to use the concrete to actually build a structure. And I'll go into the free cam for a second so you guys can get a better look of, of what it actually looks like. I don't use the concrete very often though because it's a very hard thing to build in the apocalypse like fresh carefully poured concrete it looks old but it's you know it's too perfect so to roughen up the silhouette of the fort I added all kinds of scaffolding and uh, girders and wall bits to help make the fort look like you know it's well built but like a little rickety yeah and it's kind of attached to different pieces of the uh, of the settlement with more girders and more scaffolding here and there. Ooh, that's a little clock in there. We'll just go around the side here and uh, we'll, uh, you know what Joel, this is a good time. Let's get an overview of the boot camp and see what was here before. Ooh. Let's just take a look at what we're going to be looking at. What in the world? This is a full sized boot camp with oh everything oh that the Minutemen need. Dude. You lied. <laughs> this is going to be kind of small or something. Well, I mean, it's thorough. Look at the fort off in the fog now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aren't you glad, Joel, that I actually didn't detail every single one of these buildings? Some are just the exterior shell for my frame rate. Oh I had gosh. to. Did I you, had to set a limit. Did you transport me a sleeping bag? Because I'm probably going to be staying here. It's going to take forever. <laughs> um, Can you see okay? Should we go ahead and scrap all and see what was here before? Let's see. Okay. I chose this location at Sunshine Tidings for the boot camp because it already had a bunch of these ranger cabins which to me <laughs> oh that place yeah. wow yeah there's not much left of it right <laughs> i stepped back joel and i looked at this and i said this is the kind of place where you could like first of all add walls as general dave does to everything add <laughs> walls and turn this into a place where we could really train up some good militia to help protect the other settlements um, and unfortunately for my frame rate, it gave me plenty of room to build. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, it looks really empty. Let's go ahead so and load that So that's what's there, just the main game. Yeah, you've got the silos, you've got some of the ranger cabins, which are, uh, for the most part, as you can see, like, broken down. Very messy and, uh, mm. you know, post-apocalyptic. Yeah, I saw those cabins and said, this is where... General Dave will train up a generation of soldiers <laughs> to protect the Commonwealth. To train up all generations of soldiers. <laughs> Let's load that save game. And we're back at the front of the keep. On the first floor, as you can see, it is restricted area. That's a heavy duty steel door right there. New recruits don't go in the keep. The keep is for if you're being escorted by a professor here at the boot camp, or, uh, or your sergeant, or if you're already a minute man and you're working security or stuff like that. The fort's a very secure place. But the first floor does play an important role for new recruits as they start their training and their lessons. Because part of the first floor is a minute men museum. And I actually went back to the castle and to sanctuary, and I picked up memorabilia from my journey as a general starting way back in 2015 when the game came out. I decorated the museum. I should have known there was going to be a museum. I should have known. It's actually full of relics from my save game in Fallout. Oh my gosh. So, um, where shall we start? How about the sword oh, right here? Oh, that's what you're getting the sword for. Yeah. So I'm now carrying a new sword, but this is just a very simple plain sword that I found early on and just liked how it looked. And nothing special about it. Just, I think I had like a little sawtooth mod to it. That is my general sword, the Spirit of 1776. But I've had it with me since like November 2015, uh, until just recently, and now it has an honored place in the museum uh, to the Minutemen. This pleases you, doesn't it? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Got a uh, red coat uniform here on display. A banner from the Children of Adam, which I destroyed in Far Harbor. Um, 
Got some very, very nicely textured Minutemen power armor. Also ready for the defense of the keep if it needs to be used. My original Minutemen outfit with my uh, kind of outlaw cowboy hat. Used that for a while. When I first started playing the game, I was like, I gotta wear the uniform, even though it's kind of crappy, until I got the general's uniform. And you kept all of these. I went back to Sanctuary and pulled it out of my inventory. <laughs> you had it in your inventory there? <laughs> well, I had like 30 of them. Hopefully this is the oh, right okay. one. <laughs> got it. Um, of course, some decorations there. This is my, um, I think it's called the Rebel outfit. I used it for quite a while in Far Harbor. Almost the entire uh, thing, I, I think, actually. In the display case here. I have my captain's hat from Far Harbor, a mask from one of the first gunners that I killed, uh, just outside of Sanctuary. You like took as a keep as a token? Well, it was the first one I found. Like, oh cool, a skull bandana. And I kept it. I put it in my inventory. <laughs> now it's in the museum. And then uh, one of my lucky hats from uh, Nuka World, actually. And then over here, just a reminder. <laughs> It's just about you. Like, yeah, welcome to the Minutemen. Man. Learn about me. Basically. I mean, I am the general. You are the Minutemen. <laughs> I made all this possible. Over on this side, we have some utility stuff, as well as an alien blaster pistol that I found on a UFO very early on in the game. Mm. So I hoarded all the ammo that I found for it, because I'm like, oh, there's only a little bit of ammo. I don't want to waste it. I Never fired a shot with it. <laughs> so now it's in the museum. <laughs> I just saved it for no reason. Um, this door actually leads over to the classrooms, which we'll get back to later. But this is where the Minutemen library is kept, so students can come in with an escort to check out books for their studies. <laughs> Learn about the general. Magical me. <laughs> <laughs> and hidden behind the curtain here, which also helps to heat the museum and the rest of the keep, is a fusion generator, which also has a little control panel going on in there. A little bit cramped. <laughs> he doesn't even have a desk. He's just like the computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like overheating constantly. And he's just like, you know, every once in a while, he's like George Jesse hits the one button, like. <laughs> 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 and this keep also has a little reading nook for the library. It has spiral staircases to access each floor. So you can head up this way, and this is why the building is actually... Is this a modded staircase? It is. Okay, because I was like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah. This is why the building is so secure, is because you go right upstairs, and you're now in the armory of the keep. We've got plenty of ammo for every possible rifle or rocket launcher, some first aid materials. A good view down into that side of the boot camp. And of course, a security gate. Keep the cold out. And the bullets. <laughs> the bullets too, I guess. Got this guy over here. Yes. Who is staying in contact with the castle and the other settlements. Notice Pleasure Island still marked off as a no-go zone. <laughs> and he's got some of the trade routes and stuff marked off down there. That guy's a slagger. He wasn't even turning a knob. He was turning above it. He was like, yeah. Well, oh, oh gen work. general's here. Better uh, look busy. <laughs> <laughs> right behind him is a giant stack of artillery shells. <laughs> um, and notice the security for the armory. Bubble turrets in the ceiling. Some extra weapons storage over the grate. And firing ports down into that welcome area of the boot camp. That's awesome. <laughs> so you can shoot down into the welcome area from inside of the fort. <laughs> welcome! <laughs> Remember, join or die. <laughs> and some extra weapon storage there. And to also help heat the room. Nice cozy fireplace with George Washington crossing the Delaware <laughs> over it. And this woman right here who's Crop's been growing pretty working good very hard to stay warm. She's actually the uh, security officer for the brig. Hmm. So if a new recruit decides that this life is not for him and gets kind of uppity, well, before he's kicked out, he can cool his heels in the brig. Very bare bones. Very old school toilet. And just a shower head just right out in the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone poking like kit in the glass. Mm, let me see you. Uh, you're getting kicked out. You're probably gonna die in the wilderness. <laughs> you, you have no privacy. That's like a double secure brig because it does open into the armory. 
Uh, space is at a premium, but with all the security, all the bubble turrets, I don't think you'd want to break out. <laughs> and now we can head up this spiral staircase. Yes. The new currency in this world, Dave, is George Washington paintings <laughs> and Minutemen statues. <laughs> yeah, so many of them. Because you definitely saw what was in the welcome area. I didn't even bother pointing it out because it's just always the Minutemen statue every single time. <laughs> but from up here, at the top of the fort, first of all, yeah. smokestack from the fireplace on the second floor for my immersion. And then we have uh, little platforms for shooting securely and having your body protected as you shoot. Got a few flags waving too. We have the, uh, huh? the come and take it with the cannon, Minutemen, also the uh, American flag, and then also Minutemen part two, and the recruitment beacon. And notice what's aimed directly at that abandoned gunner settlement yeah. on the uh, on the expressway. Yeah, that's just that's just no fair right there. <laughs> I think Nick Valentine over here is waiting for me to return after the tour. Now I bet you probably thought that if you were able to actually destroy that other settlement, oh, completely, I would, it would smash it. It would have been gone. I smash it into the ground. <laughs> we understand there are some limitations <laughs> for now. Uh, and Nick is overlooking the central part of the boot camp, which also contains the obstacle course. What? <laughs> which we'll get to in a <laughs> bit. <laughs> oh, what a tease. I can't wait to see that. That's awesome. So, now that we've seen <laughs> the keep, I'll take, uh, yeah, both sides have the firing platforms, of course. I think we came in, yeah, right over there at that boxcar, the, uh, the blue one. Let's take the staircase down. And then I'll have you decide which way you want to go. Ooh, this is a very narrow staircase. Like, it's like a foot and a half wide. Golly. It took so long Everyone to get has to fit, work out right. crazy hard just to be able to make it to the staircases. It's one of your tests. <laughs> Can you fit in the spiral staircase? More push-ups. Let's head back out into the front of the keep. The gym. Oh, man. Let's check out the gym. Why did I think this tour was going to be slightly boring? I was thinking not boring, but more of just like, eh, it'll be it'll be interesting. I was think this will be interesting. My rules, Joel, for my settlements are no matter how <laughs> traditional and maybe like standard they might be, like oh, a boot camp for the Minutemen. I want them. <laughs> Is that a freaking bubble horse. <laughs> I want them to feel real. I want them to feel real. So we get the snow drift outside. The wood for the fire. Let's go on in and uh, use the gym. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if you noticed when we were coming up that side entrance, the staff entrance. I did yeah. notice that. I didn't see anyone in there, though. But that's yeah. Cool. Yes? You better face back outside. Don't look at me. The general is always watching. A little stovepipe there for the fire. This is a new building mod that I found that looks really cool. It feels very um, rebuilding the apocalypse feel to it. Um, just a framed in rough brick. In the gym here, got a pleasant fireplace and a locker. Uh, changing area. <laughs> Full windows, I mean, don't strip here. But like, you, you know, towel off. I mean, you're in a, you're kind of in a military, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is funny that like, the window's just like right there. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice modern paintings. The general is always watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, even General Dave's got to, uh, gotta stay, Stay ripped. Let's turn my UI back on so I can see what I'm doing here. There we go. <laughs> like backpack still on. Like whatever. What? I got reps to do. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just hit space. <laughs> <laughs> That's your secret. That's how the general is everywhere. Ooh. You're not immortal. <laughs> Let's try the other one. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I smirking like that? I yeah, dude, I swear, we're gonna find it. We better find at the end that you're not oh. actually a person. I have to, like. Oh, are you serious? I have to, like, oh. fight to put it back on. <laughs> dude, I probably should have had a You're probably a robot. I bet you're a robot. A synth? Yeah, you're a synth, for sure. <laughs> no one smiles that much. It is really creepy, but it's only since Nuka World. That's the weird part. Well, you had a taste of a delicious drink. <laughs> Just like see my eyes down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm done. 
Well, they work. Ooh, the god rays coming in from the window. Hmm. <laughs> that, um... That pleases me. <laughs> and a reminder, stay fit, stay focused. The Minutemen need you. And you can actually use the pommel, too. Well, yeah, you're a sandal. <laughs> I'm a beast. <laughs> Dude, oh, agility boost added. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the poster right in the corner. Just stay fit, stay focused. <laughs> Hard whoa, work is happening. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, dude, you, your end episode better be your synth origins. <laughs> Which means I'm wearing like spiked shoulder pads the whole time I'm doing that. That's totally safe. <laughs> we'll step outside to the access platform here. You can see that's the uh, armory window on the second floor of the keep up there. Lots of rickety, you know, scaffolding and wires, but it's the apocalypse. We do what we can. And, I mean, you would assume this. No gaps in the walls. Anyway. Yeah. And underneath all the buildings, fencing to protect the foundations. No crawlers are getting Ugh. in my boot camp. No crawlers. This, Joel... <laughs> this is the Grunt's cabin. This is for new recruits. Not a whole lot of amenities. You've got your fireplace. Well, it's kind of cozy, actually. It, it's cozy. I mean, it's, it's the apocalypse and wintertime, and it's warm. Like, the windows are sealed up. But it's a little bit crowded, you know, bunk beds and all. Got some pinups. More reminders. Minutemen, America. Love them, respect them, cherish them, worship them. <laughs> <laughs> Cleanliness is godliness. <laughs> like someone's like hiding boards. It's like sweeping it under the bed. <laughs> like oh that guy that, that guy gets hit by like the soap and the sock where we're like, yeah, no. like no. Oh you know Hazings. <laughs> Cause if you uh if you don't clean up, if you get reps, you go out scavenging in the wasteland <laughs> with like little training. <laughs> yeah, Marilyn Monroe poster in the corner there. I think I have a light switch here. So like the sergeant can like cut the lights on in the morning and ring the bell. Get up maggots! <laughs> ring the bell. Click. Shunk. <laughs> Kick the trash can across the floor. <laughs> I close that up there. So, see, we've already seen the keep. Let's go this way next. Again, secured walls all the way around. We're gonna head right over here to the central classrooms. <laughs> I love how the Minutemen don't take down the original sign. It's just, <laughs> this is ours now. <laughs> I mean, the sign's already there. It's convenient. <laughs> Welcome to the classroom. <laughs> Rebuilding America, in case you've forgotten in the last two seconds. This is a total turnaround of my like, expectations. Of, like, oh, this will be interesting. Like, I don't know where they sleep, where yes. they train. <laughs> Why did I ever think that? <laughs> this is, Dave, you built a vault above ground. <laughs> what you've done. The general is restoring hope. <laughs> What's, what kid, what is he doing with his magnifying glass? His homework, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the professors. He's actually setting up a lesson here, Joel. He's preparing a lesson on how to make the best use of scrapping in the wasteland. Mm. Hence the poster. This is the scrapping Scrap. station. Scrap. <laughs> He's prepping yes. that next lesson. Wearing his dirty professor suit. That's awesome. And this door right here, notice the fallout shelter sign, leads to the wooden catwalk that connects to the keep, right into the museum and the library for access for students. <laughs> and the bubble turret to protect it. You have to have a teacher's escort or be probably like a close to graduating student to get access to that library. Going back into our classroom, again, every building has a heat source. In this case, we've got a nice modern fireplace. Um, got an apocalyptic Norman poster, <laughs> Joel's movie. Gotta slide that Joel propaganda yeah. in every settlement. <laughs> Um, the general's a fan. Yeah, uh, I think it's uh, it's normanthefilm.com. Yeah, uh, normanthefilm.com. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, like. it's it's lore friendly. Yeah, it really it's, helps us out. It's it's in the game, so it's 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 lore, it's, it's lore friendly. Yeah, General Dave approves. <laughs> <laughs> Notice, is the, that a <laughs> the, the feral ghoul hand? The stupid ghouls in this settlement would not stop respawning. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make you a part of the settlement. <laughs> He's been showing you how to like. Defend yourself against ghouls. That's like, the general way. 
<laughs> like, you know, if you're being attacked, you have like a machete, like go for their arms first so they can't like claw you. Yeah. So that's one of his lessons there. You bother us, we'll bother you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his his teaching platform. An evil Viking 13 painting of the uh, settlement at Far Harbor, our outpost. That's awesome. Teacher's computer and a projector for uh, the lessons. That looks portable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, With a portable nuclear power plant. Yeah, it's, it. that's tiny. It's perfect. Uh, Dave, I love this. That's <laughs> yeah. really cool. Thank you. Thank you. I... This is one of those rooms where I was planning from the beginning. Like there's, it has like a little like workshop. And, yep, there's, yeah. there's a workshop. There's a science center here in the back for learning your, uh, you know, making your um, your chems for out in the field. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not food. <laughs> <laughs> That's because someone thought it was food. Joel, I did. <laughs> I put beakers in the beaker holes. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it, like individually. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wait, what were they doing on their own? Like, what could you even do with their? Own? With them on they their just own. float. Like you have to place them somewhere where they like they actually look good. Wow. So I just placed them so they actually looked good in the holder. Wow. Yeah. And this is the actual workbench for the settlement. It's full of loot, and that's why it's glowing. And yeah, this is the classroom. I had planned a classroom from the beginning, but I was like, I want it to have. It seemed it was just gonna be one room. I wanted it to have different um, stations where, as you went through your Minutemen training, you could learn all you needed to survive. In the apocalypse. I love the um how you have each chair kind of like slightly, because you know they're all. Yeah, it's so easy. That's when John comes in, is like, give me fifty. They're all like, get out. Whoa, yeah. push you to push up or do like run a two mile thing. I even added an extra beam across here so I could get the spotlight right onto the podium, <laughs> <laughs> which bounces and reflects right into the Norman poster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Norman the Norman Norman com. <laughs> <laughs> So heading out the gate here, we're gonna enter a restricted area. This is where General Dave stays when he's at the Minuteman boot camp at Camp Again. That were such a sound, it reminds me like there's gonna be mines in the <laughs> minefield. No, never, but don't try it. <laughs> um awesome. when I'm not here, that officer who was at the recruitment center, uh, she yeah. actually stays in these quarters. But when General Dave arrives, she moves out while I'm uh, while I'm staying. So it's kinda like the officer's quarters, but when I'm here, it is in fact the general's private quarters. <laughs> I've got my own little fenced off section here uh, in the middle of the boot camp and for my immersion wooden planks everywhere just in fact throughout the entire tour I'm not going to mention them again I spent like an hour putting planks down as usual <laughs> especially with all the snow right like you gotta you don't want mud tracked everywhere um and this, also like to me it kind of teases like when the snow is melted away you know what I mean? Almost like the snow is covering up slightly bits of the path. Yeah, that's some of them are, that's what it some of them are buried. Kind of like, oh, yeah. like, what's going to be under there? <laughs> it melts away. Like other trainees that didn't make the cut. <laughs> I've got a uh, very pleasant front porch here. He's writing a little note there. Fresh beer. Some not so fresh chairs. <laughs> Inside. Like, every single building's got a bell I can ring for either service or... I, I know, it's not like, <laughs> dude, you, anywhere you are, you're like, ding, they all come yep, out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> I imagine it's like the um, the colonial days, too, where if there's an attack, it's just like, ding, 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 ding. Raise the alarm. <laughs> um, this is the general's cabin. This is my living room here. Some radiation meds. A cold window, which uh, I can pull the shutters over if I need to. Nice roomy ceiling with the actually working ceiling fan to help distribute the heat in the room. Got the general's writing desk and smoking desk. There's my key to the gates. Got some notes going on there. My typewriter. That paper has seen better days, but you know, <laughs> it's the apocalypse. You gotta use what you got. The general's own personal library, as well as the general's own personal stash of booze. And uh, magazines. Wait, 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 what kind of magazine is that? Uh, Live and Love. <laughs> the General's a very like an experience to remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I, I do wonder, like, who, like, keeps the fire going in your place, because I can't imagine the General's doing that. Oh, no. No, well, I mean, the recruits have duties. Yeah. Everyone must do their part to serve General Day. You need to put, like, a bell right above your bed, so, like, ding, 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 guy goes, another log. <laughs> I can just Is shout it? out the window. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can. 
Again, I can close the shutters if I really want to. Oh, that's a cool, that's a new painting. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I haven't used the moose in a while. Just a pleasant little... Someone's going to tell me again. I know it's not a moose. It's a elk? I get it wrong every single time. I think it's an elk. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, that's elk. Yeah, that's elk. And I've got my nice potted plant, along with my alarm clock, and some reading material. And General Dave does not just use a commoner's bathroom. I have a full featured bathroom with my own shower. Uh, plunger, toilet, cleaning materials, toothbrush, and toothpaste in the apocalypse. Now that is some fancy living. Uh, very nice bathroom light, too. That's very toilet paper seems really frustrating to reach. <laughs> 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 And no fireplace would be complete without a lore-friendly exhaust system. I mean, that would be ridiculous to not have the exhaust. And notice how much firewood General Dave gets. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's the uh, smokestack up there, the That's chimney. Nice. I like that. That pleases me so much. <laughs> I've been looking for that mod for a year. Um, it comes from Cabin in the Woods mod. Fantastic mod. It's awesome. Um, this is just the corner, uh, this far corner of the boot camp. We'll just duck outside for a second. Nothing much to see on this side. It's a nice wintry landscape. Uh, the back of our cafeteria here. Our come and take it flag. Join the Minutemen. And here's what the outside of the walls look like. Uh, very, very secure. This guard tower can see everything. And what they can't see, the thousand laser turrets do see. This settlement has mostly laser defenses. Um, I don't mess around with my, my training camp. We'll go around here. Before we head into the mess hall, I think it's time to check out the obstacle course because uh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've teased that yeah, for a while. <laughs> so, dude, I had so much fun building this. I actually had a live build video uh, for this one. I just went, I just went ham. <laughs> it was so much fun. If you are a close to graduating student, your obstacle course training days might be filled with actual feral ghouls <laughs> to help you train. That's awesome. Danger. Do not pass me on this point. Did you make that? <laughs> uh, it's just a sign mod. Cool. Finally had a use for it though. Which is funny because like the fence isn't an actual fence. It's just <laughs> they just like throw the ghouls out there. Go go go! <laughs> but here, I'll walk you through how the uh, the course actually works. Great. I thought it through. So the idea is to show that camaraderie and uh, that Minutemen spirit. You gotta help each other through the course. Climb the fence. Then use your friend's help and the uh, cinder blocks to climb the gunner style wall. Then hop the low fence through the tires. So yeah, I got stuck there, it's tough. <laughs> it's good exercise. <laughs> then over this. <laughs> and then you walk up this platform. And as you can see from the knocked over signs, the last person that tried to vault the, the caution signs tripped face planted into the snow. <laughs> Just <laughs> whoa, boom, there he goes. <laughs> And then you have to climb uh, this gravel wall, not too bad, but I imagine that's very uncomfortable, like rusty chain leap fence <laughs> covering up gravel. Uh, and if you look, the cinder block walls here kind of direct you over the course because it loops back over itself. And you climb up this little hill here, over the tires, over the stone wall, over the small <laughs> small walls here. Surprise, feral ghouls. <laughs> yeah, trainers might be like releasing ghouls. And the arrows might be anywhere in this whole area. Yeah, so release the ghouls! <laughs> And then you've got to oh, that's really cool. walk the planks here. Let's see if I can do it with the controller. Uh, easy. Easy. <laughs> Alright, now we're on the raised platform. And here's the upside down rope section where you have to hang off the ropes. Oh, that's cool. And uh, shimmy your way across. Like telephone poles, poles in it? Telephone really poles with wires is how well I designed this. Well done. And you come up here, you've made it across. You gotta kind of help your fellow militia men. That's amazing. So then you come down the stairs here. And now it's time to climb the big wall with the ropes. That's that's creative, Dave. That's really Thank you. Creative. I was I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> it um it pleased me. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have to climb uh, back down this side without the use of ropes. Kind of climb down the, the bits there, and then it's time for the tire run, which I cannot do without just bunny hopping. And then comes the barbed wire crawl, where that's you've got to cool. crawl your way under the other part of the course. Uh, to get through and you can pick this side which is like a little bit more narrow but has less roots in it or the larger section with the roots then when you're past the roots you can just kind of climb out <laughs> and finally to end things you have to climb out like this 
run up the platform and climb the monkey bars <laughs> with ghouls <laughs> below you. <laughs> and then you've reached the finish line. And uh, when there's actually a course going on, there's an instructor with a bell to signal yeah. when you uh, cross the line. That's that's awesome. That's the obstacle course. Well made. So, now that we have crossed both the classroom, which actually opens up right here. There it is. Ah, nice. And, uh, ooh, those god rays over the castle. Dave, you're like the, you're like the Dark Souls of the Fall. <laughs> it just like all connects. Yeah, all connects. <laughs> oh, whoa! So, we're kind of in the center now. Do we want to check out the firing range next? What? <laughs> I thought those were gravestones when we were, we were passing around. I just figured it was a cemetery <laughs> from all the fallen <laughs> comrades. <laughs> Let's check out our firearm center and our gun range. We've got a little bit of storage here in this corner. That's the scaffolding that goes up to the top of the keep. Is that the one that holds your General Dave? Museum, yep. That's the keep right there. That's uh, Valentine up there looking over the gotcha. looking over the range. This is all the stalls for the shooting range. Oh, wow. It's got mats for resting your knees on if you kneel to shoot. It's got sandbags. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Joel? <laughs> Are you mocking me right now in my obsessiveness? <laughs> I'm right here, Joel. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I went uh, a little crazy. You got crazy. the bag. That's to put the rifle on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just wait, because I have one arranged where someone like left him in position after they pulled the rifle away. Yeah, because you needed to have a rifle shown, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> out here in the range, we'll go out and look in a minute. You've got multiple kinds of targets. You've got uh, some of like the the gangster stand-ups. You've got <laughs> Vault Boy. You've got uh, Cappy and uh, is it Cappy and Bottles? I think from Nuka World. I think so. <laughs> Notice he was a Preston Garvey poster. Just a little. Little Minutemen joke there, little Minutemen humor. Everybody knows he's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> he gets it, it's funny. Um, and there's actually so many targets that you can't see some in the back. We'll have to go out and look here in a minute. Some uh, ammo that somebody left behind here. A waiting bench. And this is actually a reconstructed barn that the Minuteman disassembled ah. and put back together took the side of the barn out, rebuilt it as a shooting range, but it was a two-story storage barn. We just moved it piece by piece and built it into our gun range. In the first floor here, we have the chem bench, which is for working on some of the, you know, chemical and nuclear weapons, but also making flares for the gun range because, Joel, we're going to actually use the range in a minute. It's reactive at some parts. What? It launches flares. What? Some of the targets actually have actions that they can do. So you can make flares and stuff to use on the targets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but before we do all that, <laughs> let's uh, keep taking a look. Some more sandbags for that bench. Got some lockers. Each stall has like a locker and you know, shooting mats. Whatever you might need to actually use the gun range. But now, Joel, what do all the Mintmen signs say? In the vault signs about uh, order safety and first. safety. Yeah. safety first or yeah, order is safety. Yeah, order is safety. So there's always a range officer on duty when the range is actually in, in use. And at any point, at either part of the two story gun range, he can two call. Two story gun range? Oh, we're going to go upstairs. <laughs> at any Goodness. point, the range Whoa. officer can call a ceasefire. I can hit the button, ceasefire, at which point all the lights turn red and the range is cold. <laughs> Remember, because order, soldiers, <laughs> is safety. <laughs> wow. Let's uh, take a look upstairs. Again, this was a two-story storage barn. It's a little bit rickety, but it's held together. Joel, the amount of wiring I had to do to get those lights working on a circuit, like, it runs up through the floor, up the ceiling, like, from post to post to get all the lights synchronized. From the second floor... We have kind of an extra rifle range where you can shoot at targets from above, to practice mm. like angled attacks, and we can even put targets on those far silos in the distance for long range shooting practice. Oh wow. And I actually added this little uh, bench here for resting your rifle on because it's awesome. kind of a narrow walkway in this old barn that we've just re uh, reconditioned. And some repair areas for working on your guns if you're upstairs and you're you know, trying to get that sight aligned. The people down below, you're like shooting the machine gun, all the shells are going down, the <laughs> shells are landing on, ah, it's part of your training. <laughs> and I put some tools on the uh, pegboard, on the actual pegs. 
Gotta align them correctly. Wow. Nothing is too obsessive for General Dave. <laughs> Good. Get the blowtorch and some uh, some counter space there for working. And this big billboard outside that we haven't even seen yet, it helps to kind of protect the windows from outside of the uh, gotcha. of the of the walls. And one more small shooting bench there. Let's head down. Woo! And more storage lockers. Let's go range hot. But before we try out the range, let's take a look at what's in the back corner here. Plenty of areas for working on your firearms. Did you put all the scopes and stuff on there? This is actually uh, one of the in-game workbenches. It is already detailed. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. Awesome. I did add these though. I just noticed the bat in like the holder next to it. Did you put that bat in there? No, no, that's actually it came with it. That's really cool. Oh, that's still a part of that. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's neat. And then in this corner, kind of off, separated by a bit of wall, we have a soldier whose duty it is to make ammunition for the Minuteman. Can't He's talk hard at work. Him. Really hard at work, man. He's like headbanging. <laughs> <laughs> He's mixing some powder and making all kinds of new shells. That is a boring job. But somebody's got to do it, and I assigned it to him, so he will do it. And... You can you see range all the ammo, though. Yeah, you can see he's got like all the ammo ready to go oh, out, either to the range to use for new recruits. How can you arrange something like that? This corner took like less than five minutes. Wow. Yeah, the place everywhere mod is so fantastic. I can just place, 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 rotate, adjust, rotate, adjust, and just it gives me so much creative control. I can move so fast now. It's awesome. Dang. Um, I think it's time to load up one of the fireworks launchers, Joel. Let's actually look right here. And I'll show you where we're gonna we're gonna come out right here. This is the general's podium. I actually built up a little little podium for standing on with a snowdrift for my immersion. All the lanterns going. Ready to speak to those new recruits. Oh gosh, your character smiled. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's constantly smirking. He knows something's coming. <laughs> Immersion, Joel. <laughs> Immersion is on the way. <laughs> There's that, uh, what is it? Bombshell Betty <laughs> gun shop billboard. <laughs> and to help with nighttime shooting, the entire range is lit. There's lamps over the range. There's spotlights up front. And you would almost never see it unless I actually showed you but I even decorated with banners and bunting the front of the range. So it's, even for each lane, like up inside, like where, who's gonna see that? I would see it, Dave, I know. Dave would see it, so. Let's turn the UI back on for a second. Shall be done. And I'll show you how the uh, how the launchers work. I think we can, uh, let's see. Uh, this one, I believe if you shoot it, it spins. Yep, it like buzzes. Um, we have the volume muted so Joel can't hear it. Got it. But uh, the light turn green and it buzzes. So oh, it's like a cool. hit marker. Yeah. And there's multiple ones all over the place. That's really cool. I think you can hit that one right there with the controller. Yeah. That one, oh, that's a spinner right there. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> the cannon went off. That one is linked to a mortar. <laughs> so you can actually put junk up here in the mortar. Let's see, do I have junk I can put in it? I don't know if I do. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Put some buff out on there. <laughs> so you can put it in the mortar, which notice is aimed carefully outside of the settlement. And if I hit, I believe let's follow the wire, it's this target right here. Let's go back to the actual range and use it. For my immersion. You understand. Oh, of course. Alright. And the mortar should fire and launch that. Buff out. Did I hit it? There it goes. <laughs> I can't tell if it fired because we're muted. We also have some uh, kind of camouflage for a realistic gun range. Some targets that have been shot over. Some really creepy 3D cappies for shooting. I always found that the, the cappy, like the big one on the right, 
in certain lighting, it looked incredibly real. I don't know why, but the textures on it. Yeah, it's it's. It really... had like a weird like that. Actually, looks like real metal. Like it was. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll notice too. There's big walls of tires to help absorb the uh, the gunfire, because as you might imagine, this cabin back here is not used for actual quarters. Seeing this is the gun range. Um, let's find one of these firework launchers here. There we go. Fireworks mortar. Oh my. I think it's under miscellaneous. This could take a second. <laughs> there we go. Put some blue shells in there. So yeah, if you're practicing like you're, you're working on your pistol shooting, <laughs> set off some fireworks. That's cool. And uh, have some reactive targets. And as you might expect, we want to be very careful with all the shrapnel because uh, order is safety, as you know. Yeah. Um, as everyone should know at this point. Like, if you don't know that order is safety, I have failed you as the general. <laughs> We've got a big rickety concrete wall with extra tires to help protect the rest of the boot camp from shrapnel and ricochets. That's awesome. This part of the settlement actually has the least amount of defenses outside the wall. If you look, there's turrets on the gun range on this <laughs> wall. So this is actually the weakest part of the wall. Ah. So if the gun range is not being used and you get inside, well, there's still turrets here. You die in the gun range. But if the gun range... You just add to the extra target. Yeah, if the gun range is actually being used, well, you're just an extra target. As part of your training, though, because this cabin was not available for quarters, because it's actually in the gun range, we turned it into a shoot house, where our Minutemen can learn how to correctly clear buildings and support each other, taking out enemies inside of a building. So it set up like a fake house. That's cool. Protective walls. Bad guys. <laughs> First aid, just in case there's like crossfire. You gotta be careful. All kinds of little corners where bad guys can be hiding. You gotta learn how to corner, clear, and... Ah! Red coat! He's got a lag bomb! <laughs> He's got a lag I don't know what that FPS drop was. He's got like a bayonet just like pointed right at you. Oh, dude, he's got some soulless eyes. What is that? <laughs> and, um... Oh! Looks like someone tried to break into the gun range during a live fire oh. exercise. Notice how someone stripped him of his clothes. Like, those can't go to waste. <laughs> the general's at it again. Remember your scrapping lessons. <laughs> Soldiers. Scrap. <laughs> That's like a power scrap. This is awesome. Gun. Yeah, great idea. Yeah, the uh, I went a little crazy with the firing range, but um, I feel like if I'm, if I'm training soldiers for as many settlements as I actually have, we would need a gun range this big for like 20 recruits every like, you know, four weeks or whatever um, to really make good use of it. Off to the side here, I'm going to leave our power turned on because it's time to look at one of the primary defensive areas. Whoa. Remember that silo from the uh, old farm oh, yeah, before? Yeah. If we head over here to the elevator though, I'm just going to keep my gun out at this point. Different levels? Um, it's just the third. You can try to, but it's just halfway up. <laughs> Oh, okay, I didn't know if you had like a second level that you do anything. Yep, it just stops halfway up. You gotta go all the way up to three. Look over the gun range right there. And you wanna talk about rickety. Watch your step. Look how narrow this staircase is. Whoa. Not for the faint of heart. Or for when the gun range is being used. So many ricochets. But uh man, check out the sight lines outside of the wall here. The idea behind using this tower as a defensive tower was, again, this part of the wall is the weakest for defenses, because it's the shooting range. So if you can't have lots of people manning the defenses behind the shooting range, have them above the shooting range, hmm. on top of the silo. Right where fireworks. <laughs> that would be almost level with a tower, that'd be so loud. Ah, stop it please! And again, <laughs> notice for Dave's immersion the amount of support pillars I've added to support the guard tower. Uh, this is a rickety staircase, no railing. We're gonna just go up like this. This is a multi sided guard tower with the custom shooting benches for each side, where you can kind of rest a bit in the corners with some protection because you are pretty exposed up here. Or look out. 
over the uh, Commonwealth wasteland. Yeah. Heaven help whoever tries to assault these walls. <laughs> Hellfire awaits. And a fire barrel to keep you warm. There's no power up here, no fireplaces, but uh, I imagine the wind would get pretty rough up here. This is awesome. Also a chalkboard, so that as the watch changes, they can say like, oh, we saw gunners in this direction, you know, moving at this time. You know, you can note, saw them again at 8 o'clock. <laughs> it all day. Probably think of too much of it all. And then, <laughs> look how high up we are over the entrance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this has really some, yeah, some serious elevation. And there's a look at the keep and the shooting range and the obstacles, What percentage of course. Of have we seen of this place already? Um, probably 70% at this point. Oh, wow. Well, two-thirds. <laughs> As we go down, um, one of the other primary defensive uses of this tower, the silo, is a network of either three or four rocket launchers all around the silo. Goodness. This is not just a guard tower. This is like a rocket defense tower. And they're connected to the electricity at the gun range. So in the event of an attack, if the range is, like, powered down... Whoever's on the watch at the front gate just throws that range switch and all of these rocket launchers all around the tower go live <laughs> and they can see everything around the camp. Alright, let's put that M14 away however much I might love it. And to be honest, Joel, the primary reason that all this is not powered on constantly is I hit my FPS limit a little early and I was trying to like segment stuff off so I could like turn some things off when we're done looking at it. Oh so let's power that down. We'll have to come back at, and get a night shot so you can see how it looks at night. It's, it's pretty awesome with the fireworks. Do we still have some loaded up? Yeah, you had three. So you had one more. Perfect. We're going to actually march through the gun range here. I am moving really fast. I must have some of that speed armor on. <laughs> Open the utility door at the back of the gun range. It leads to the shoot house. Restricted area, safety first, order, and safety. You don't wander into the wrong door. This is basically just the upper corner of the Minutemen boot camp here at Camp McCann. Open our back door here. I imagine that putting targets on top of those silos would be like a punishment. Yeah. You have to get like the climbing hook and <laughs> like all your wind protective gear and climb up there. I'll just show you what the back walls look like. Barbed wire and defensive walls all the way around the camp. Did you notice the shooting targets on top of the <laughs> the shed too, or the top of the cabin, I guess? And then that's the silo defenses from the outside. What the hell was that? I'm gonna go on back here this direction. I, I just want to like go out and explore the snow now. <laughs> it looks awesome. I haven't played much with the mod turned on. Let's be sure to always close our doors behind us. Security is order. Safety. Oop. This concrete and steel guard tower also has a rocket turret, which can be uh, toggled with this switch here. And this poor guy up here shivering is watching the... Oh, the grate, too, below him. Yeah, oh, that's cool. going to be windswept. But you can see everywhere. Yep. The yes. northwestern approach here. Ooh, look at the lighting from the fire barrel. Mmm. <laughs> Immersive. Mmm. <laughs> it, um, it pleases me. <laughs> He's got his protective gas mask on. Got some first aid kits and some ammo. Extra rifles and huh? stuff. And a very, very cold grate down below. At least he has some glass windows. Which will be shattered instantly. Wasting who knows how many man hours of work if we're ever attacked. <laughs> like so much glass work wasted on the guard tower windows. <laughs> uh, basketball hoop for. Well, hoops. <laughs> for just hoops. I mean, it's. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Got our smokestack going. Extra defensive turrets. That one's a minigun inside of the walls. And this cabin right here, which is uh, rickety, but they keep on messing up the fence. You always have to go on that one side. <laughs> yeah, it needs, so it needs some repairs. Uh, this is not the officer's quarters, but this is for 
I guess like third and fourth week students, like you're about to students. This is Hogwarts <laughs> uh, recruits. Like you're you're approaching your graduation date. So this is a bit nicer. Uh, you got a little bit of, of snow and leaves that have come in through the chimney. It looks like someone maybe left the grate open or left a window open somewhere. But um, no bunk beds. You actually have your own bed, smaller, but you know your own. You get two lockers. Very nice. And some nice Minuteman decorations. A nice big hearth for the fire. Uh, very cozy. But... No blankets. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you notice, Joel, there's no students here. We're uh, we're actually between classes right now, between recruitment classes, and uh, that'll tie into the next cabin we look at. In the world. Mainly because I have so many people working at the different stations here. I was at the population limit of 20, with no room left for <laughs> recruits. So we're between classes, apparently. <laughs> um, look at that. They even have a radio. That was personality by Johnny Mercer. I mean, they've uh, made it this far. <laughs> they've survived all the ghouls in the obstacle course. They've earned a awesome. few creature comforts. But if you almost didn't survive the obstacle course, we have the base hospital, which has an access ramp where if you... <laughs> Have like lost your legs or something. <laughs> Physician and surgeon. And surgeon. We're good to go. Got a couple ramps there. Support pillars underneath, as you do. And they are open for business for all your Minutemen injuries. You've got kind of like a modern looking lobby here. Ow. It's a cramped building, but it has all you might need for a base hospital. <laughs> Lots of waiting room space yeah um again lots of ghouls in the obstacle course uh occasional ricochets into the guard tower in the shooting range those god rays continue to please me greatly reminder on the bulletin board guns are fun and uh be thankful for your clean water because the minutemen are providing that that's uh Good. one of the things we do also remember that he has a sneaky snake beware of stds <laughs> I mean, it's a hospital. Like, you gotta have the STD warnings. Got some uh, closet-style doors here that leads back to the examination rooms. Cleaning shower slash sink right there. <laughs> the waiting room with some natural light and your required doctor's office artwork. Kittens. Yep. Always the kittens. We got two oh, exam cool. rooms. And more kittens. Let's see in this corner um ah yes hand washing station and some extra towels slotting door to help keep the screams down from <laughs> the surgery room i can patch you up if you need it for a small save it fee for the general. of course yeah uh no general's good Gonna thank pass. you let me know if that changes Ooh, i look angry <laughs> you look angry when you talk but outside of that you're like mm. well she interrupted the tour oh yeah now i'm angry we got the operating table and room for medicine and cleanup. And if once you you've had your Minuteman surgery, you. heat from the uh, radiator there, we also have a recovery room complete with the kitty style like rocket carpet and a nice <laughs> flower. It's actually like a rug that I resize for the flower pot. Oh, that's cool. Very pleasant painting on the wall. Uh, again, keep the screams out. <laughs> That is our. Yeah, it rotates. You go over here, wait in the room, go around, <laughs> cut off your legs, sit up, <laughs> stay there, and then get the heck out. It's very efficient. Yeah, yeah. That is our base hospital here at Camp McCann. I mentioned we're actually between classes. This is for, I guess, the uh, mid tier recruits that are like halfway through their training, but we're in the middle of uh, remodeling this building for winter, so we're throwing out some of the old nasty mattresses and beds because those are, those are in real gross shape. Go around our power pole here. Yep, just in the middle of some refurbishment. Gotta seal up all the windows and stuff for the winter time. <laughs> they better get going though before the next class gets here because we have what, like 37 settlements now or yeah. join the cause? Like, we need more recruits you to protect like them. Rotating out like crazy. <laughs> and for once, Joel, we're not going to tour the shower house because you know. I always build a shower house with bathrooms <laughs> and stalls and showers. So here's the head. It's the military term. Gotta have that. 
it's like a, a framed um, plaster hmm. kind of construction. And it feels like the kind of thing that you could put together in the apocalypse. But that's our shower house and bathrooms. But if they're full, you get stuck with the outhouses out back. <laughs> you better hope that no one like attacks this side of the wall and like gets past you the You open defenses. your door, they open their door. Uh... <laughs> and if you really have to go, oh they're all God. full. You have to go outside of the camp. <laughs> to the, this is just like the crapper. Who was that? Bobby Pins? No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Who left mine. that there? I don't know. <laughs> Who's lockpicking the bathroom? That's that's kind of gross. <laughs> Who's in there? Pick, pick, pick. Let's <laughs> start so backup outhouses, basically. So that leaves us with just our mess hall. We go in the side door here. We've got all of our protective planks. And it is winter. It is Christmas time. <laughs> They're allowed in the common room. A little Christmas tree. A little bit of the holidays. And this is where everyone takes their meals. You've got uh, somebody playing some checkers here. No nebula. Notice in the, uh, in the boot it's too camp. much fun here. <laughs> too much fun. Only I mean, checkers. <laughs> yeah. Strategic. <laughs> They're trying to smuggle it in every week. <laughs> Burning piles <laughs> and nebulas. Got all kinds of storage here for extra food supplies. Like, I'd imagine with all these vault tech boxes here, we've just gone to one of the vaults and, like, ripped off a bunch of their canned goods and stuff like that. Um, somebody's been eating their rations, but, uh... Somebody's also been spicing up their life a bit, too, because I'm pretty sure I saw... There's a vodka, like, under the bench hidden. <laughs> mm, vodka milk. It's like it's like a McPoyle special. <laughs> Always sunny. Mm. What is that food? Uh, iguana soup, I think? Mm. Looks like little meatballs or something in, like, cheese soup. <laughs> I managed to seal most of the holes in the ceiling, but occasionally you have the, uh... You know, a little bit of leaks here and there. It's a big building. Um, yes. This guy right here is prepping some special brew for all the generals' many quarters spread across the Commonwealth. This is not for the men. This is for the general and the officers. They make it right in front of everyone else who has to sit in there. Like, oh, I want some. Well, the graduating class, if you graduate, you get your one bottle as yes. a gift. I'm still waiting for General Dave's, like, whiskey or something. There's, you got to have a custom, custom brew. Harvest. Wait, I don't know what that does. I think you just harvested some, like... Whiskey. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, over here, we've got our dishwashing station. Got some really nasty-looking cafeteria trays. Some clean dishes. More food storage. Uh, now, who who dropped the coffee pot? That's not allowed. I dropped the coffee pot. <laughs> it was me. Me the whole time. Here we go. This is like a really huh? cool custom uh, Wasteland Chef cooking station that I found. It's part of uh, the Northland Diggers mod. We had some kind of like excavation sites and like cooking stations, but I love all the extra detail, like the plants and the, the coals and stuff. I like seeing how the animation goes, whoop, <laughs> and then it disappears right when he chucks it in. That's pretty cool. Making some ramen stew, it looks like. Hmm. And then the, um, the extra stove with the piping system for the smoke, and of course, you know, there's a chimney outside. And there's smoke. Yeah. And then he's prepping some uh, extra meats and, and bits. And there's huh? our drink station, our extra fridge, and our dish washing station number two. That is our uh, mess hall. That's awesome. And a reminder that without the general and the Minutemen, all is lost. And that, Joel, is Camp McCann, the boot camp for General Dave's Minutemen. Did that undershoot your expectations, meet them, exceed them? <clears throat> oh, they definitely exceeded me, exceeded them. Like, not in the sense that I had low expectations where it was not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to be clear. Not that it was not going to be good. But to me, I was, when he was like, oh, like, um, like, oh, you're building a camp. I was just thinking, okay, I don't know, really rigid. It was going to have specific, you know. But I guess I kind of, like, completely forgot about the whole idea of, like, a gym, workout center. And then, honestly, the, um, the ropes course or that, you know, the... The that, obstacle course, that yeah. That was the highlight for me because it was just, it was really fun. You put a little bit of fun back into this. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, order is fun, Joel, because you're safe. 
And I liked, um, was, is it, is that, what was it, House of the Keep in the bunker or something like that? The museum? Yeah, the museum. The actual yeah. artifacts? That, yeah, that. <laughs> you actually open it up, Joel, and it's my <laughs> Spirit of 1776 sword. Let's lock that back <laughs> up. Your raging Spirit of 1776. <laughs> I just, I thought it would be really fun to go back to Sanctuary and some of my old settlements because, amazingly, this is still my original save game. It hasn't corrupted yet. That's crazy, dude. I have 20... Four days on this save game. It's like 600 hours plus. Yeah. And that's a testament to Bethesda. <laughs> if, if, I mean, seriously. Like, you've done a crap load in this the, game. The things I have done to this poor game, like, it's oh, yeah, held I, up I love well. the I love the classroom, too, as well. That was, that, was, that was great. Yes. And as promised, we've got to try out the shooting range at night. Ooh, the moon. Ooh. It's very atmospheric. Yeah, very um, really cool again. Can we use the word immersive? Is that allowed? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I'll allow yeah. that. I mean, I am your personal immersion tour guide. <laughs> Cut all those spotlights on. I have the mod <laughs> where the spotlight actually casts shadows, so it looks really neat. Because that, uh, the shadows, they, um, they please me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's set off some fireworks here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. That would be like really good for drawing attention from like dumb radar groups and stuff too. Like, ooh, bright shiny explosions. Let's charge into that and see yeah, what happens. Specifically, right underneath where that was, come over the edge. Target rep practice. <laughs> and you know, I think it's time to test the defenses against a group of dumb raiders. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what? We'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep it at nighttime too. I know it'll be harder for you guys to see the, all the details. But seeing so many of the actual defenses are lasers and rockets, I want to see the rockets' red glare. <laughs> you said that you can have the music. You said that so you can have the music. <laughs> all right, Joel. The defenses are all set. Looks like our gatekeeper smells trouble in the wind. <laughs> and we have some very dumb raiders who will hopefully be attacking you soon. So let's open the gates up. Let's give them a chance. I literally imagine you're running back to jail. General, I smell danger on the wind. <laughs> dong, <laughs> dong, dong. And then the close-up shots of the feet go. Ooh, shadows on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> yep, under the rooftop here. Let's see what's up. Oh, look at look at you. Rocket turrets, are you? Oh, holy crap! <laughs> Like, that is honestly the rocket's red glare right there. <laughs> Just a street. <laughs> Whoa! What the heck? How did he get up there? We got climbers! We got climbers! <laughs> rocket turrets now! Oh. Wow, he got nuked. I... Ooh, they just rocketed the rocket turret. Here come the lasers, though. Uh, she's all set. No, she's got the Gauss cannon. I forgot I gave the defenders some pretty good guns. <laughs> now, are these all guns you've looted, Dave? Yep. Oh my gosh. Over the main quest, dude, I gathered so many guns, because to, to pay for all these scraps... <laughs> someone's dying in the corner! <laughs> to pay for all the scraps and stuff to build all these settlements, I looted, like, every single person I fought in the main campaign. Like, every Goss gun, valuable thing, I looted them all and sold them. <laughs> or kept them. The castle has, like, a huge store. the lantern light in the back of the settlement. Ooh, we got incoming rocket fire. Whoa. That looks amazing. It's like Star Wars right now. So I have institute turrets, so that one's actually disabled. And normal turrets. So they're disabling a few. <laughs> Attack dogs, the closest that they've gotten. Oh! <laughs> Just vaporized. Come and get it! <laughs> get ready for some of that controller aim. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he knows. Oh, wow. Not a chance. Anything happening back here? The general's a marksman. I mean, after all that training at the gun range. <laughs> Oh! 
Good night. That is awesome at night. <laughs> that is head rolling by down here? Oh, that's like a chunk of him. There's groups of bad guys. One. Oh, yeah. Oh, they got the dog, too. That was good. What's oh. Here come the turrets. They came way too close. Man alive. Man dead, I guess. <laughs> wait, just wait, wait. He's brave. He's brave. Oh, the, it locked the dog's head off with the laser. <laughs> it, I actually saw the lasers go like whoop, and the head just goes whoop, spiraling off. <laughs> Jeez. Like, did that guy, did you not see just what happened? Well, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? They're dumb here? raiders. We, oh. <laughs> I almost feel bad. We've killed a lot of, of raiders this morning. A lot. You fool. Oh, all his weapons were flying. His axe went absolutely flying. I'm just gonna hunt these guys down. This is pathetic. I opened the gate and they still can't get in. Oh, you think you're... Get back. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that weapon. Hello. Oh, did you see his head like rock when I hit him? Where'd that raider go? Let's head on back to the general's quarters and pour one out for the raiders that fell here tonight. Which I think was probably all of them. That was like 80 different people attacking. We had a few wall climbers that got in. I <laughs> see all the people like looking through the windows like, oh, the general's coming. He's holding that thing. <laughs> it's like his weapon. It's covered in blood. Yeah, it's like that's, and that's children. Right, we're safe here. <laughs> this rocket's going up outside still. The house is just shaking. You know what, Joel? I think the defenses have it. I think I'm going to pour myself a stiff drink and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you to you guys for coming out for the tour. Thank you, Joel, for coming along as usual. Thanks for having me. And uh, as the rocket's red glare continues outside my windows, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Do 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 do